In this video, we're going to teach you how to do transformations of the sine and cosine graphs. So now we're going to teach you how to do the parent function of y equals sine x graph. Okay. So first thing is you know that the period of sine x graph is 2 pi. So you're going to want to go ahead and label your points. There you go. Okay. Next thing you know about your parent function of uh, y equals sine x is that your amplitude is going to be 1. Okay? So you're going to have points on your y-axis at 1 and negative 1. Okay? Now, next thing I want to do is go ahead and draw your graph. And there is the parent function of y equals sine x. Okay, guys. So to transform the sine of x, it could be girls. Okay, girls. <laughs> okay, people. So to transform the sine of x graph, you use this equation. A means the vertical stretch on the graph. and the amplitude. B is the horizontal stretch. Also, if there is a negative in front of the A value, then that would flip the graph over the x-axis. And if it's in front of the B value, then it will flip over the y-axis. The C value is the horizontal shift. And the D value is the vertical shift. OK, so we'll start with the vertical shift, which is D, which is up 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that will be our median. So we'll draw a little dotted line there. And then our amplitude is 5. So that means that the vertical, sh <laughs> the vertical stretch is 5. So up to 3, 4, 5 to 15. And down to 5. And these will be our lowest and highest points. And then to find the period of your new function, you will use the equation 2 pi over the b value. In this case, b is pi, so 2 pi over pi equals 2. So that means that your period is 2, so we'll draw 2 over here on the x-axis, and our midpoint will be 1. So, since this is a sign, we'll start at our median at 0. Here's our point, and then we'll be going through the median at 1 and 2 as well. You'll have a horizontal shift over 2, so this will be our starting point, not this. And then it'll be over 2 from there, so this is 4, and this is the end of our period over here, and this is 3. So, you'll need to remember the equation for your sign, which gets the, hits the highest point at 2 and 1 half, and the lowest point at 3 and 1 half. 
So now all we have to do is graph the function. And if at two and a half, it'll be at 15. At three, it'll be at 10. Three and a half, it'll be down at five. And at four, it'll be back at 10. And then you just connect the dots. And there's your transformation. Sign graph. And go away. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and graph the parent function of y equals cosine x. Okay, so first thing we know is the period of uh, y equals cosine of x is 2 pi. Okay, so we can go ahead and label our points. Okay, next we know is that amplitude, or a, uh, is 1. Because right here is actually a one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our points on our y-axis. All right, next thing we do, we're just gonna go ahead and graph it and put on our points. And this is the parent function of y equals cosine of x. <laughs> so very similar to the sine graph, the cosine graph has values for a, b, c, and d. The only difference is going to be in the actual graphing part. So let's go ahead and define the, uh, the factors that change the graph. So a, which is going to be right here, is the amplitude for the graph. That's going to be... Uh, how high and low from the median that the high and low points go. And secondly, we have our B value, which is going to be our horizontal stretch. Now, in, the, in this parentheses right here, everything that you see is going to be the opposite of what you think. So the B value really is going to be, like, if it's 2, it'll be 1 half. Um, if it's uh, pi, it'll be 1 over pi. Okay, and so the B value is going to be our horizontal stretch. Our C value, which is going to be right here, which is in the inner parentheses, is going to be our horizontal shift. Once again, it's also going to be opposite of what you think. And then finally, with mini graphs, there's a vertical shift, like on a quadratic equation. You're going to have a, a value similar to this. It's just going to shift the graph up or down. And this is going to uh, manifest itself in the median. So this d value is going to be the vertical shift. <laughs>